you mentioned when you were talking about sort of TNA and impact there, sort of the, the office being the issue. You've touched on before sort of one of the contributing reasons between your uh, towards your decision in 2012 to to leave Ring of Honor and go over to TNA Impact was sort of the, the role of Jim Cornette in Ring of Honor and sort of your views on uh, him as an individual and him within the company. I just want to ask sort of a little bit more about that and what specifically sort of altercations or maybe incidents that sort of led you to that decision and sort of what impact overall you think maybe negatively Cornette in that period has had on your career, sort of almost forcing you out inadvertently? Um, well, <laughs> that's okay. Um, to be fair and to be completely honest, I didn't think Jim Cornette was a piece of shit until after I left Ring of Honor. Uh, the times that we worked together, uh, I didn't really have any, you know, didn't really have any issues with Jim. You know, we, we um, I don't say that we saw eye to eye on everything, but for the most part, we had a pretty decent working relationship. Um, and, you know, at one point I even confided in him before, this is before any of that, like, well, you know, I don't know, maybe if, if, if I may even want to, you know, retire from wrestling at that at some point, we had a long conversation about that. The issue was, was I just, I wasn't, I wasn't, um, there just, you know, there was a lot of, there was a lot of issues that kind of forced my hand in that, um, you know, contract negotiation issues. I didn't really, I didn't really dig the way those were going. Um, I didn't really feel, uh, I didn't really like the way, you know, Jim would, you know, every, every promoter book has their favorites or whatever, but the booking, the, you know, it just, it just didn't line up with 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 the way that I was feeling like the all night express was 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 uh was cooking and and uh, you know our beef really didn't start until I left you know and then and then because in my opinion he just he felt like he got outsmarted he underestimated me and I didn't trick or do anything anybody I did what was best for me and my family I didn't you know we never had a fucking handshake deal it was it was hey okay I might do this or I might not and that's all it ever really was. And, and to be, you know, I did everything that I was supposed to do. I call, I even called when I was doing a TNA trial, like who call, who, who's going to call another company and say, Hey, look, I'm doing this. And you know, you don't, I'm not under contract and I'm not going to throw the ring of honor titles and in, in the trash. But if you see me pop up on impact tonight, this is what it is. Right. And, uh, and that's really where it started. Uh, and, and he, he felt outsmarted and he put some, press release that sounded like a 16 year old girl that had seen her boyfriend at the mall holding hands with another girl and it was so stupid that joe Coff made him take it down and you know it just it just was the precursor to his all his lame ass behavior these days and all his stupid ass outdated views and all this dumb shit that he does now it was just you know i've been telling i've been telling people jim Cornette was an asshole and you know and so the negative of uh, uh, effect that it had is because he has a a large group of people that listen to his bullshit without any kind of critical thought or, or, or so it, it, it did have somewhat of a negative effect on my career. Like, you know, I had, it would be, it's like dissing Beyonce, right? If you diss Beyonce, you're going to have, you know, a million freaking drones buzzing in your, in your, so yeah, it, it, it did affect slightly. Right. But the people that were fans of my work and people were fans of me and, and, and had ever heard me speak on the situation, realized that it was, I did. I, I never did anything wrong. If I did anything wrong, well, here's here's the number one, um, the number one test of between you know whether this whether who who did something wrong or not. I've had I've been back in Ring of Honor for going on six years now. I signed four contracts. Jim can't even come backstage. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I mean. I, when when Joe Coff reached out to me and said, "Are you ready to come home?" That's how I know I did everything the way I was supposed to do. And business is just business. And Jim was just a butthurt little bitch. And, that's all I got to say about that.